Hey guys, it's Dorian Ray. Welcome to another episode of, uh, whatever the fuck this is. No, I can't use that. Hey guys, it's Dorian Ray. Welcome to another episode of Every Item is Blank. So pretty much what we're going to be doing is we're going to be playing on Drizzle. We're going to be playing the Artifact of Command and Artifact of Sacrifice. I'm playing as multi to give myself the best possible outcome and i'm playing with the power saw and the auto nail gun now multi is a normally slower character but he's a little bit tankier so this is probably going to work out well and the item we're going for today is the tri-tip dagger tri-tip dagger if you don't know about it it's an item that you only need 10 of them to get maximum efficiency out of any more and you're literally just wasting an item slot so, the current goal, get 10 of them. That's it. Once I get 10 of them, I move on. I just speed run to the end. I, I go to Mythrix, I try to win. If I win, cool. The same thing is going to apply where uh, I am allowing myself to get totems and uh, drones and stuff like that just to help me out. But I'm also going to be prioritizing just getting to the end of the level quickly. But I am going to try to get, you know, a few to start. I don't want to start with nothing. We're almost two minutes in. We've only gotten one. We're just going to go for it. And of course, I get this guy. All right. It's fine. We just try to get up on him and boom, he's dead easy and that is why multi is amazing i just shred people and there we go we got my second one so the way that we're going to do this is i start off on easy if i successfully complete the run i do the same thing the same settings same everything i just increase the difficulty and that's it so if it if i can do it on easy mode I try it on normal. If I can't do it on normal, we know that it's not that great of an item. But if I can do it on normal, then I'll try it on hard. If it if it doesn't work on easy, don't try it. If it does work on easy, it's probably possible in the other difficulties. You just got to be a little bit more quick and hope for RNG. We're sitting at four, which is a good number. And we're just immediately going to start this. Because that is my plan. Of course, I get another Wandering Vagrant. The one enemy I don't want. Like, if I could get a Beetle Queen or something, that would be amazing. I would love that. All these, like, stacking items, like the ones that infinitely stack, if you have a shitload of them, they work out very well. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure if I were able to get, like... 20 like not 20 but like 50 mochas my run probably would have been fine because that's a lot of movement speed that's a lot of attack speed anything that's coming in for me i can probably escape pretty pretty easily i honestly think that the tri-tip dagger is one of the best items in the game all right like of the white items it is probably one of the better ones depending on which character you're playing because it's just a way to, by naturally shooting things, deal extra damage. We're already up to six, so I only need four more to get 100%. So we're just going to go over here. Hope I get another one to drop. During the boss fight. If I can go up against Mythrix with, with 10, that is ideal. Alright, why'd you spawn over there? Get over here. All right, that guy's dead. And they did drop me another one. So I now have seven. So more, more often than not, I will apply bleed when I hit something. And that's good. I like that. All right. We have eight. 80% of the time, I am applying bleed. 
And the more I hit something, the more damage that is going to rack up over time. So I think beating Mithrix with only 10 tri-tip daggers is probably possible. Is it the uh, my ideal build? No, not at all. I have no idea where the teleporter is. There it is. Okay, cool, 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 cool. It is currently going better than I thought it was. We're at least going to get to stage five. And with it being on easy mode, I do, you know, regen quite a bit outside of battle. And this is exactly the, the guy that we want to see. Watch this guy just get shredded. Okay, what? Where the hell is that coming from? Who's mortar shotting me? I don't like getting mortar shot. Oh, you're up there. There we go. 99. Boom, let's get out of here. All right, we're in Sky Meadow. Stage five. We're at level six difficulty, which is perfectly, perfectly reasonable. Now we just need to find the teleporter, which is over there. And I'm just going to go straight towards it. The chances of me not getting at least one white item during the, the boss fight is slim to none. So we're just going to go for it. Holy shit, we found some sustain. We found a lot of sustain, actually. Good, good, excellent. All right, I'm going to kill this group, then jump up there and start this. Good. Glacial parent. That's not good. I didn't want to fall there. How? God damn it! All right, drones, do your thing. Come on. Come here, drones. Thank you, drones. Fuck you, drones. Oh my god. I gotta back off a little bit. Regenerate my health a little bit. We should be able to kill this guy, though. Yeah, that guy's dead. Yeah, they just had to spawn all the flying enemies. All right, time for walking simulator. Oh yeah, peak gameplay. It's gonna take me 10 seconds just to get up this hill. This should be where enemies start to spawn in. Maybe. Yeah, there's one. All right, screw this guy. Now, these guys start off with a shitload of health. So, luckily, because we have the bleed, I just have to shoot them a little bit before I start doing a lot of damage. Uh, yeah, let's try to get over there first. Ugh. Oh, I hate platforming. Especially with, like, no movement speed or anything. Because usually I can just kind of jump over there and speed my way through here. But no, this we're, we're, we're doing it low and slow. Low and slow. We ballin'. All right, that's one. All right, now that that's done, this is me sprinting, by the way. We're going to jump over here. Go up there. All right, we made it over here. It is the blood shrines. So, I just give up some of my life. Oh, and then I'm going to regen a little bit once I kill these guys. And once I regen a little bit, that's when I'll do this one. Okay, we should be able to start now. Okay, cool. All right, we made it to the launch pad, so now let's yeet ourselves to what is probably going to be our death. But we'll find out. This is the furthest I've made it, so it's going well so far. Come on, Mythrix. Show me what you got. All 
Okay, yeah, that hurts. But well, it's fine. This is like the least amount of health I've seen Mythrix have. All right, this is probably going to be horrible. Yep. It's okay, I can jump. How dare you dodge that. Ow, that hurts. Screw you. All right. Die. All right, he is dead. Uh, it should just be these guys. It shouldn't be too difficult. As long as they don't all decide to gang up on me at once. Alright, cool. If we can take them out one at a time without getting absolutely demolished by everything else, it should be fine. Alright, you're gonna die very quickly. If you guys get close, you die very quickly. Probably could have gone with like twin nail guns. And it probably would have been better, but it's fine. Come on. Alright, and this guy I need to kill right away so he doesn't get in my way. What's up, Mythrix? Come on. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. It's fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. All right. Hey, come on, steal my, my items. Hell yeah. Come on, give me my item back so I can not bleed to death. Come on, give me give me my tri-tip dagger back, please. Oh, now I get it back, okay. All right, come on, open up a portal. Open the portal. There's one. Okay. We now just need to charge this and get the hell out of here. I did it. We are successfully out of there. The first success in every item but. But this was on easy mode. The next video will be me attempting it on normal mode. Stay tuned for that.